Dash here with Rolling Bones. Today we're going to, I'm going to be putting together the Blood Bowl Second Season Edition Special Players. The Orc Special Player, the Human Special Player, the Ogre, the Troll, and then the two referees. I hope you guys enjoy this and we'll, let's get started. Now we will do Varag Ghoul Chewer. Depending on how familiar you are with uh, building models and things like that so they come a lot of models come on sprues like this um, you just clip off each piece there are some instructions there that show you which order they go in and the pieces are numbered on a good model kit the pieces are numbered so you just follow the instructions there um, they show the order that they should go in I don't always follow that um, but a lot of the times I, but sometimes you can get in trouble if you don't follow the way that those go together. And sometimes you have to look at the box and figure out what certain things are doing because uh, the instructions sometimes aren't that clear or you just got to find out what you think looks best. Um, I ran into that problem with these horns here that come off the front of him. The instructions were not showing very well how those fit together. So I had to pull out the box and flip it up and actually take a look at it and see how those things fit because they just were not fitting. Here you see that I was struggling with this ghoul that's on his shoulder. Um, eventually I got it figured out. I uh, did the armor underneath and the, then the ghoul hanging up there. And then the ghoul's hand coming off the back was a little bit of a challenge as well. Um, but I eventually got it figured out. Then getting him to stand on his base was a little difficult. Here with Griff, the human special player. Um, I cut out everything first because everything was pretty recognizable and then just went through and did it the way that uh, followed the instructions there. Um, the legs were a little wonky and didn't want to stick together with my glue, but they eventually went in together and worked out. Um, and then sticking him to his base. He didn't wanna, his legs didn't wanna stick together, but we got it done. Uh, his arms and hand were pretty good, pretty easy. Uh, his other arm was a little bit of a challenge to figure out, but uh, eventually I got it. And his head, the instructions said to do it one way, but eventually I did it a different way because it didn't wanna, work the way that I was doing and it seemed better. Had struggled figuring out where this eagle, like the wings seemed backwards to me, so uh, it didn't want to go together, but I'm actually not going to use the eagle on him anyway, and I might actually cut off that uh, griffin that's on his helmet, I'm not sure, um, but the eagle or the bird I won't be, I won't be attaching to him. Uh, I'll find a use for it in some other situation but I just like him without the bird better. We will do the ogre next. The ogre pretty simple to put together. I have one of these already so I may go back through and actually do some modifications on this one.
I'm not sure if I'll change it. I think the paint, different paint schemes that I'll do on them might be enough, but if it's not, then I'll, I'll put them, uh, I'll, I, I might get bash this one up a little bit. I struggled with the feet a lot on this one, kept putting the feet on the wrong one, so, uh, cause I didn't, cause I'd flipped it out and didn't look at the numbers and thought I was doing it the right way, but eventually, eventually I got it figured out, got the feet on the right feet. They fit together real well when I did it right. Um, but he was mostly a pretty simple model to put together. The troll hated building the first one of these and I hated building this one. Um, they're not that fun. And this one I do want to modify a little bit because I don't really like the sculpt on the troll. They look funny to me, like the way that they're posed. So uh, I will probably, I will almost definitely go through and do something different with this troll now that I have it built before I paint it. Uh, and if I do that, I will show you guys. Sorry that I keep getting it out of frame. I'm, you know, have the camera up there. I'm not looking through the camera. And so I get it out of frame often. Um, but yeah, I just, the troll, it's not my favorite sculpt, not my favorite thing. So, uh, and there's actually a piece of armor that I didn't like on the first one. So I just left it off on this one as well. I did have trouble finding where the little leg went on this, on the little uh, goblin that he's throwing. It was, I oh, just could not figure out where certain body parts went on that thing. Even looking at the instructions, it just didn't want to go together the way that I thought it should. So, eventually got in and got done right. The body was pretty easy to get together. I kind of just, together and it's one way um, And there was some struggles with like the feet and stuff trying to get it to stand up right. Doing the refs.
I've built the book of this guy. There, there was a little bit of trial and error there, but it was pretty good. And then putting the dwarf together was super simple after that. The book was the only thing that had, the book ends just, they, it just didn't look right to me. Then this guy, his little belt, was kind of hard to get to stay on, but eventually he got on there and was fine. Um, but the rest were super simple to build. Here we have uh, the orc special player, then the ogre, uh, the train troll, the two refs, and Griff over there on the side. That's the building of the special characters for Blood Bowl's second season edition. I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you have any questions or comments or want to see anything else, then let me know. We will see you next time.